the Biden family knew that you're going public with this. And you spoke to Rob Walker about it. Again, the, the self-described Biden family representative. And Biden family, the meaning Joe Biden as well. What was his response when you let him know that you were going public with this? Uh, trying to coach me, <laughs> trying to sort of say, hey, we don't want to do that. We don't want, you know, press trucks out in front of our house. I'm going to have to move. Uh, I could lose my job. Um, and uh, all that, um, you know, I'm not trying to cause any harm to anyone in this situation, right. let alone Rob Walker and his family, James Gillier and, uh, and his family. Um, but basically, Rob's position was, if you go on record with all these facts, you'll bury all of us. If he doesn't come out on record, I am uh, providing the facts. Tony, you're just going to just you. bury all of us, man. What was your response to that? Um, I was focused on pushing these guys to do the right thing, to demonstrate an ounce of integrity in front of the American people. They all know the facts. I live the facts. And luckily for the American people, all the facts are extremely well documented. I'm irrelevant in this discussion, so I can write off, but the American people can read these texts, listen to the recording that you just played, read the legal documents that were executed in Delaware, and they can form their own conclusion. They don't need me to form the conclusion for them. Give us a sense of your contacts with Hunter Biden. I just, a lot of this is complex. There's a lot that we're not, and this is television, so we're not putting, you know, everything that we have on the screen right. because we can't. But for those who might suspect that you don't, didn't really have a lot of contact with Hunter Biden, give us a sense of some of the places where you had conversations with him yeah. and over what time frame. So, um, obviously, as we already discussed throughout 2015 and 2016, while Joe was still the sitting vice president of the United States, these guys had been doing extensive work around the world in places like Oman, Luxembourg, Romania, that I was being made aware of, but I obviously hadn't come off the bench and agreed to be part of this. I'm, I'm sorry, I've got to interrupt you there. O Oman, Luxembourg, Romania. Correct. So they don't speak any of these languages. Neither one of these guys has any record of success in business. Neither one has a background in international business. Why would they be doing business in Oman, Luxembourg, and Romania? Uh, and because, because they have relationships and they have the Biden name that they're able to set up meetings and get people to jump through hoops uh, in an interest to garner favor with the sitting vice president, Joe Biden. So that so it sounds like Gillier is a legitimate business guy, a, di a you know, someone who's who's yes, fluent yes, in the language of yes, international Yes, James business. Gillier, you know, served his country. He's British. Yes. Uh, he's traveled around the world for decades. He's a very low-profile uh, right. individual. But he is, uh, he's sharp, and he's as legitimate as they come. It sounds it. But Hunter Biden and Jim Biden have a well-documented, decades-long record of business disasters. Did you get any sense that either one of these guys was qualified to be conducting this kind of business? The only qualification they had was the Biden name. But they seem to have parlayed that into quite a few deals in quite a few countries. And I interrupted you. So, so give me, continue with where they were doing these deals. Yeah, so you had asked, you know, uh, the extent of my communication with Hunter Biden. So when I uh, decided to come off the bench and, and uh, entertain being the CEO of Sinohawk Holdings, um, obviously, I was brought up to speed on the work that they had been doing in Oman, Luxembourg, France, Romania, Kazakhstan, and stuff like that, because that was all going to be integrated into Sinohawk Holdings. Um, and so you asked to the extent that I spent time with Hunter Biden. I personally was in Bucharest, Romania, with Hunter Biden, Jim Biden, um, uh, James Gillier, Rob Walker. Uh, I was in Monaco um, for the you know, annual Grand Prix there. Uh, I was supposed to sit with Hunter Biden. Um, I met him, uh, I uh, met on the patio of his hotel, uh, and I sat there and waited for two hours. Um, and uh, you can imagine how uh, angry and I was frustrated after sitting there for two hours waiting for him without a text, a phone call to let me know I can't make it or I'm tied up. And uh, in a text that I think you guys are aware of and saw, the next day, um, he aggressively comes back at me that uh, he couldn't attend the meeting that he himself set up. I stepped away from family and friends on, on the yacht that I was on with my friends to go sit with him uh, for a couple hours. And uh, he's effectively screaming into the phone that he could not 
pick up the uh, a phone and text me because he was with the Ukrainians and Mikola, the founder of Burisma, and that he was fighting for the only income he has on the Kazakhstan deal that apparently he negotiated. Now, I had no exposure to the Kazakhstan deal. I'm not aware of any of the particulars of the Kazakhstan deal. I just know for a fact there is a Kazakhstan deal because Hunter Biden in first person told me there was in the text that I think you guys have and you will show to the American people. Uh, it's not my job to determine what that deal is. I'll leave that up to the FBI or the Senate and the Congress to uh, figure that out. I just want to restate this. You are not a grifter. You're not someone who's selling access. You're a legitimate businessman who's done deals in a lot of different countries. So I just want you to assess once more, is there anything about Hunter Biden's personal experience, personal qualifications that would justify him doing a deal in Kazakhstan? Uh, absolutely nothing. The only thing that he had was the Biden family name and the fact that his father at one point obviously was a sitting vice president and potentially would run as a future president. It sounds like a remarkably ambitious international business program they had running. Extensive. His uncle. Extensive. Um, th this is a small point, but I, I, I can't get over it. So you saw a number of reporters say, again, in an effort to bat away your story, your testimony on this, that the chairman referred to in a bunch of these emails was not Joe Biden. It was, in fact, the government of China. When you see people refer to the chairman thinks this, the chairman thinks that, they're talking about China and not Joe Biden. So I want to put up on the screen. Here is a text message you received from Hunter Biden to you. Hey, Tony, I have an idea. In light of the fact that we are in an impasse of sorts and both James's lawyers and my chairman gave an emphatic no, I think we should all meet in Romania on Tuesday next week. And so you're hearing reporters say that chairman was, in fact, the Chinese government. Here you have Rob Walker responding to you, clearly there's some confusion over this, and he's saying, and I'm gonna put this on the screen now, when he said, when Hunter Biden said his chairman, he was talking about his dad. Correct. There's two chairmen in the story. There's Chairman Yi, who is the chairman of CFC. Yes. In that text from Hunter Biden, he was not talk talking about the chairman of CFC. And what Hunter's referencing there is he spoke with his father, and his father is giving an emphatic no to the ask that I had, which was putting proper governance in place around Oneida Holdings. So Joe Biden is vetoing your plan for putting stricter governance in the company. I mean, and, and it's, it's right here in the emails. Yeah, yeah, Tucker, I want to be very careful in front of the American people. That is not me writing that. That is not me claiming that. That is Hunter Biden writing on his own phone, typing in that I spoke with my chairman, referencing his father. If the world thinks that that my chairman is not his father, then Hunter Biden would come forward and go on record and state to the world. But you when, have the Biden family representatives, Rob Walker, saying right here, May 19th, no. When he said his chairman, he was talking about his dad. Exactly. 